as students decide to enroll at Valencia, we organize in the whole induction process of how they come into the college is very important in terms of that being as positive as possible and, and as thoughtful as possible. So we have what we call our six steps to enrollment. And uh, the first one is, a, of course, application. Uh, and some, for some students, that also includes sending us transcripts if they've gone to private, uh, previous colleges, if they're transfer students, or, um, and also applying for federal financial aid if uh, students would want to do that. So that's the application process. And then we require a um, standardized testing. So a lot of students, either they might come in with an SAT or an ACT score if they've been to a college before. We need to know where to have students start in our curriculum, particularly in their English and math sequence. So we have, uh, the state of Florida has an assessment test called the PERT. So they have some kind of uh, assessment that helps us advise them as to where to start and also related to the, what their major is going to be uh, in terms of what courses they should take. Uh, the third step is new student orientation. Uh, that is a required part of our process. And that's when uh, we have an opportunity for students to do that online or face-to-face. -face. And then uh, we meet in a group and, and again help them get ready and make decisions about course choices. And then help them enroll and they meet with advisors through that. Then we want them to register online. They do it. We only register students online, so they have to learn how to do the online system, and we teach them how to do that as well. Uh, and then finally, to pay their fees, whether that's through their federal financial aid or out of their pocket, or we do have a program we call TIPS, where students can uh, basically uh, take like a short-term loan uh, and pay a partial, you know, over several months uh, for their fees. But all of that uh, has to be done before classes start. Uh, and then our last step is go to class. Uh, so just to signal to students that that's really what it's about. So that whole induction process is a very important part of what we do, particularly working with new students. And we welcome about 15,000 new students a year. So it's quite a big production that we are involved in um, throughout the year. So one of the parts that students uh, have to document when they come in as an application is to prove, if they can, that they are uh, Florida residents for tuition purposes. That's a specific designation in the state, and there's specific documentation that students have to show uh, in order to prove and, uh, that they are Florida residents and therefore get the Florida resident rate, which is 25% uh, of what the out-of-state rate is. So for example, Valencia right now, it's about $100 a credit hour. Uh, for in-state, it's about $400 a credit, a credit hour for out-of-state. So you can see it's, it makes a big difference in the cost of the education. Um, so uh, if students are under 24, they have to show their uh, parents or their guardian's documentation that their parent or guardian is uh, a Florida resident, and again, in pati with particular documentation. And that's sometimes challenging for students to do. Um, there's also recently been conversations about different classes of students, such as veteran students who might not, because of their military service, they might not have been in Florida um, to have that docu the documentation that's required, or um, students who were um, born in the United States but don't have legal status as U.S. citizens. Uh, so there's different groups that there's been some concern about their access to Florida residency, and uh, this is something that you might get questions about as a board member, and I'm happy to answer it at any time, but just wanted to let you know because you, you might get some calls about that.